Good morning, folks. We've got some crazy stories today, some because of the implications and others because of tragedy. We're starting with our star here where bright umbral magnetic fields try to trick us into thinking we've got sunspots. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com, checking out the last 24 hours on our star, finding a very calm day. It is a blank disk, but that coronal hole is why we got the earthquake warning through the disaster prediction app last night. The solar wind is very calm except for that phi angle hitch top right in blue. IMF went from sun return to earthbound and earth is connecting to the coronal hole now. As it turns in, you can tell it's a core coronal hole as opposed to the poser regions of sparse plasma out ahead of it, not quite as dark black. Let's go to the satellites. Folks, this is where the roughness occurs. Of the storms that fired up across the country, there may be none worse than what hit Colorado. With more than a dozen people injured by up to softball-sized hail, numerous videos are coming in from the zoo of animals literally running for their lives. Three of them were killed by the falling ice. Hail is getting worse. Looking to the tropics, those systems are shifting west, northwest, and shearing moisture up into that system, going to hit Colorado again today. Meanwhile, in the West Pacific, we've got two strong systems now. One still going to clip Japan, while the other shows the westward pull isn't totally gone yet, heading for that same island chain. Folks, there have been a number of cosmic ray surges detected in Mexico City the last few days, already at record levels for the globe, and have been spiking higher anomalously in these last few days. Since we announced the cosmic ray maximum a few weeks ago, each of these spikes ramps us up into relatively unseen territory. Cosmic rays have numerous times been tied to magma viscosity, and we've got Fuego getting active this week not far away. Rescuers got an unwelcome surprise as the ground started releasing gases all around them. We've also seen anomalous earthquakes hit regions undergoing anomalous surface heat spikes, like the Iberian Peninsula now. Very small so far, and hoping that was about all they're going to get there. We've got five top stories today. First, an excellent valley-based solar forecast indicates that the upcoming solar cycle will be weak, like this one, with the trough lasting through 2022, which would be a bad four-year run on the cosmic rays coming up right now. Up next, we're going to Jupiter, where a top-tier team detailed a water cloud layer with thermal flows inside the great red spot mirroring storm flows on Earth and potentially the global electric circuit. The next great planet hunter, Tess, returned its first test shot and serendipitously captured a bright comet and tons of little asteroids which are the smaller white points moving around. This one is expected to make the Kepler Discovery Group look tiny in just a few years. Up next, move over greenhouse effect. They are now calling it the hothouse effect. Interesting to see the departure after two decades of physicists explaining that Earth's clouds are white and reflect energy, but perhaps more interesting to see the fear-mongering pulled back a bit in the new definition. They say the climate will stabilize a few degrees warmer with slightly higher seas, but their marks put us in that dinosaur climate era where there was one of the greatest explosions of plant and animal life in this planet's history. Last but not least, a seemingly little galaxy of no importance, but scientists say there is a spiraling magnetic field coming from it affecting its sparse jet. Sounds absolutely amazing, right? The problem is, they want to use that explanation to explain what they actually see. This, one jet perfectly straight, the other goes straight down onto a cosmic donut. Again, they want us to believe this is a trick of perspective, with both jets actually having the same shape but appearing different based on our perspective. Such things happen, I suppose, but you really kind of have to use your head. There is something simpler than a corkscrew line perspective going on here. Indeed, the donut hole is the jet axis. Would love to get some comments from you guys today about what you think it is. And also, the like button is feeling lonely. It wants some help waking up your brothers and sisters, so get out there and help us if you can. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.